audio description. We begin with a presentation of the educational innovation developed by Susana Agudo, Prado and Marta García San Pedro from the University of Oviedo. Educational Innovation by Susana Agudo and Marta García San Pedro, University of Oviedo, Spain. Slide number two. Next, the epistemological framework of educational innovation is addressed. In this mainly textual slide, we begin to specify the conceptualization of educational innovation with two questions. What is and what is not educational innovation? And what are we talking about when we talk about educational innovation? Educational innovation, epistemological framework. Educational innovation concepts. What is educational innovation? Authors such as De La Torre, Invernon, Bolívar, Carbonell, Sánchez, Barraza, López Lavie y López, Casanova, Fernández Navas o Solá Fernández agree that it is thought in action. It is an intentional and planned process. It provides an answer to a problem, necessity or challenge. It implies a positive change. It could be implemented in a micro, meso or macro level or context. It is focused on educational improvement. Its implementation is always assessed. It is addressed to all students. It introduces, adopts and adapts new methodological and organizational elements. It should be a new initiative in the context. Slide number three. We continue showing slides about epistemological framework of educational innovation, inviting us to reflect on a question raised by Sancho Hill. Innovation, fashion or educational and social transformation. To do this, we make use of a slide in which there are three black and white photographs of prominent people in innovation issues. The first photograph is Maria Montessori surrounded by some girls and boys in an informal educational environment. The second photograph is Ferreri Guardia alone and the third photograph is Giner de los Ríos, also alone. Educational Innovation Epistemological Framework Innovation, fashion or social and educational transformation. There have always been teachers and pedagogists committed to innovation such as Montessori, Ferreri Guardia, Diwi, Giner de los Ríos, Freinet, Neil, Makarenko, Piaget, Milani, Freire, or Stenhouse. On the fourth slide, there are three black and white uh, portraits of different people. The first one is Loris Malaguti, the Reggio Emilia Educational Philosophy. The second photograph is Josefa Martin Luengo, the creator of the free school Paidea in Extremadura, Spain. And the, th the third photograph is César Bona, author of the book La Nueva Educación. 
Educational Innovation Epistemological Framework. The teacher role in educational innovation has changed. Loris Malaguchi, Josefa Martín Luengo o César Bona, María Caso, Juanjo Vergara, José Antonio Marina. The factors that limit educational innovation are discussed in this slide, as stated by Carbonell in the year 2022. The slide number five is mainly textual. Educational innovation ep epistemological framework. Educational Innovation Limitations by Carbonell, 2002. Teachers' routines and beliefs. Individualism, constant educational reforms, national and regional curricula, pedagogical transformation, gap between teacher training research and school practice. Fernández Enguita, 2016, said that teachers are true active agents of innovation in the classroom, but in order to have a deep effect and produce an innovative culture, it must be a collective task. On slide number six, we talk about a project that materialized innovative ideas, what Hernando Calvo called in 2010, the spring of innovation. It is a textual slide with a color image of three projects that in Spain are highly innovative. Bosque Escuela, real photography of the forest school in Madrid, an image inspired by nature. The second one, Colegio Andolina Quintal Teshu, close up photograph of a girl with brown hair with a red headband and a light skin in, the, in a learning context, accompanied by the logos of the Andolina and Quintal Teshu school. And the text, key to an education focus on childhood book cover, art thinking, with a background of some wooden boards and a real cube-shaped piece of watermelon perched on it. Projects that materialize innovative ideas. Currently, we are experiencing a new era in educational innovation given that teachers, schools and educational systems around the world are promoting innovation through the educational projects. In 2013, Alfredo Hernández Calvo, Spanish educator, researcher and psychologist, traveled around the world to discover the most innovative schools. You can consult this project in the following link. The following examples are to of the most innovative approaches he found. Slide number seven. This is a mainly textual um, slide. Educational innovation, epistemological framework. Forest schools. In 1904, the first open air a uh, school appeared in Germany. At first, it had a medical purpose. It was designed for those boys and girls who suffer from respiratory or other diseases. Later, this school focused on children education in general. This type of school spread all over the world. Another open air school examples were opening in London in 1908, in the United States in 1911, and in Spain, both in Barcelona and Madrid in 1914. Outdoor education constitutes 
a key methodological tool that can make part of the student's training curriculum come true, that is lived by himself. Student is taught to interpret and analyze processes and phenomena outside the classroom. Outdoor learning looks for the conversion of natural spaces into permanent education centers. Slide number eight address the art thinking project. Art as a teaching learning tool and educational change. The Art Thinking Project is an educational project through which art has the power to transform education and was implemented by Maria Caso in Madrid. It is about using art to explain other disciplines such as mathematics, history and language. Art thinking is focused on art as a surprise generator. Art must promote pleasure while learning. Project-based learning should be the methodology used. Through art, students and teachers become knowledge creators. The debate is not about changing the contents of the curriculum, but training teachers to teach students in a different way. Art is considered as a teaching learning tool and an educational change. Slide number nine deals with innovative schools. Innovative schools. In these schools, Changes are always present in one way or another because the educational community promotes change. We dare to say that all educational institutions carry out changes. When the objective is to innovate, change is not something specific or isolated. It entails mobilizing many elements to become an innovative schools. There are six common characteristics if in innovative schools. The organization, the curriculum, classroom methodologies, the assessment of learning, school management, and the exercise of accompaniment and personalization. As Hernando Calvo said in 2013, an innovative school is the one that looks for all students' success regardless of their needs. We finish this presentation of the epistemological framework of educational innovation by inviting you to reflect on various issues. Educational innovation questions debate. What is educational innovation? Do you know any innovative educational project? Do you know any innovative school? Which is the role of the teachers in these innovative schools? With all these questions, we finish our presentation. Thank you very much, Susana Agudo Prado and Marta García San Pedro, University of Oviedo, Spain.